in mathematical analysis, and applications in geometry, applied mathematics, engineering, and natural sciences. A function of a real variable is a function whose domain is the real numbers, more specifically the subset of for which the function is defined. The output, also called the value of the function, could be anything. Simple examples include a single real number, or a vector of real numbers. Vector-valued functions of a single real variable occur widely in applied mathematics and physics, particularly in classical mechanics of particles, as well as phase paths of dynamical systems. But we could also have a matrix of real numbers as the output, and so on. The output could also be other number fields, such as complex numbers, quaternions, or even more exotic hypercomplex numbers. General definition. A real-valued function of a real variable is a function that takes as input a real number, commonly represented by the variable x. For producing another real number, the value of the function, commonly denoted f. For simplicity, in this article a real-valued function of a real variable will be simply called a function. To avoid any ambiguity, the other types of functions that may occur will be explicitly specified. Some functions are defined for all real values of the variables, but some other functions are defined only if the value of the variable is taken in a subset X of the domain of the function, which is always supposed to contain an open subset of. In other words, a real-valued function of a real variable is a function such that its domain X is a subset of that contains an open set. A simple example of a function in one variable could be, which is the square root of x. Image The image of a function is the set of all values of f when the variable x runs in the whole domain of f. For a continuous real-valued function with a connected domain, the image is either an interval or a single value. In the latter case, the function is a constant function. The pre-image of a given real number y is the set of the solutions of the equation y equals f. Domain The domain of a function of several real variables is a subset of that is sometimes, but not always, explicitly defined. In fact, if one restricts the domain x of a function f to a subset y x, one gets formally a different function, the restriction of f to y, which is denoted f y. In practice, it is often not harmful to identify f and f y and to omit the subscript y. Conversely, it is sometimes possible to enlarge naturally the domain of a given function, for example by continuity or by analytic continuation. This means that it is not worthy to explicitly define the domain of a function of a real variable. Algebraic structure The arithmetic operations may be applied to the functions in the following way. For every real number i, the constant function is everywhere defined. For every real number r and every function f, the function has the same domain as f. If f and g are two functions of respective domains x and y such that x, y contains an open subset of, then and are functions that have a domain containing x, y, it follows that the functions of n variables that are everywhere defined and the functions of n variables that are defined in some neighborhood of a given point both form commutative algebras over the rails. One may similarly define which is a function only if the set of the points in the domain of f such that f0 contains an open subset of. This constraint implies that the above two algebras are not fields. Continuity and limit until the second part of 19th century, only continuous functions were considered by mathematicians. At that time, the notion of continuity was elaborated for the functions of one or several real variables a rather long time before the formal definition of a topological space and a continuous map between topological spaces. As continuous functions of a real variable are ubiquitous in mathematics, it is worth defining this notion without reference to the general notion of continuous maps between topological space. For defining the continuity, it is useful to consider the distance function of, which is an everywhere defined function of two real variables. A function f is continuous at a point which is interior to its domain, if, for every positive real number epsilon, 
there is a positive real number phi such that for all such that in other words, phi may be chosen small enough for having the image by f of the interval of radius phi centered at contained in the interval of length 2 epsilon centered at a function is continuous if it is continuous at every point of its domain. The limit of a real valued function of a real variable is as follows. Let it be a point in topological closure of the domain x of the function f. The function f has a limit l when x tends toward a, denoted if the following condition is satisfied. For every positive real number epsilon greater than zero, there is a positive real number delta greater than zero such that for all x in the domain such that if the limit exists, it is unique. If a is in the interior of the domain, the limit exists if and only if the function is continuous at a. In this case, we have when a is in the boundary of the domain of f, and if f has a limit at a. The latter formula allows to extend by continuity the domain of f to a. Calculus one can collect a number of functions each of a real variable, say into a vector parametrized by x. The derivative of the vector y is the vector derivatives of phi for i equals 1, 2, where is the dot product, and x equals r and x equals b are the start and end points of the curve. Theorems with the definitions of integration and derivatives, key theorems can be formulated, including the fundamental theorem of calculus integration by parts, and Taylor's theorem. Evaluating a mixture of integrals and derivatives can be done by using theorem differentiation under the integral sign. Implicit functions A real-valued implicit function of a real variable is not written in the form y equals f. Instead, the mapping is from the space 2 to the zero element in, and is an equation in the variables. Implicit functions are a more general way to represent functions, since if, then we can always define, but the converse is not always possible, i.e., not all implicit functions have the form of this equation. One-dimensional space curves in n. Formulation given the functions r1 equals r1, r2 equals r2, rn equals rn all of a common variable t, so that, or taken together, then the parametrized n-tuple describes a one-dimensional space curve. Tangent line to curve at a point r equals r equals for some constant t equals c. The equations of the one-dimensional tangent line to the curve at that point are given in terms of the ordinary derivatives of r1, r2, rn, and r with respect to t. Normal plane to curve the equation of the n-dimensional hyperplane normal to the tangent line at r equals a is, or in terms of the dot product where p equals a points in the plane, not on the space curve. Relation to kinematics The physical and geometric interpretation of Dr. dt is the velocity of a point-like particle moving along the path r, treating r as the spatial position vector coordinates parametrized by time t, and is a vector tangent to the space curve for all t in the instantaneous direction of motion. At t equals c, the space curve has a tangent vector drive, dt, t equals c, and the hyperplane normal to the space curve at t equals c is also normal to the tangent at t equals c. Any vector in this plane must be normal to Dr. dt, t equals c. Similarly, d2r, dt2 is the acceleration of the particle and is a vector normal to the curve directed along the radius of curvature. Matrix valued functions. A matrix can also be a function of a single variable. For example, the rotation matrix in 2D is a matrix valued function of rotation angle of about the origin. Similarly, in special relativity, the Lorentz transformation matrix for a pure boost is a function of the boost parameter beta equals v c, in which v is the relative velocity between the frames of reference, and c is the speed of light, a constant. Banach and Hilbert spaces and quantum mechanics. Generalizing the previous section, the output of a function of a real variable can also lie in a Banach space or a Hilbert space. 
In these spaces, division and multiplication and limits are all defined, so notions such as derivative and integral still apply. This occurs especially often in quantum mechanics, where one takes the derivative of oquet or an operator. This occurs, for instance, in the general time-dependent Schrödinger equation, where one takes the derivative of a wave function, which can be an element of several different Hilbert spaces. Complex-valued function of a real variable A complex-valued function of a real variable may be defined by relaxing, in the definition of the real-valued functions, the restriction of the codomain to the real numbers, and allowing complex values. If f is such a complex-valued function, it may be decomposed as f equals g plus i h where g and h are real-valued functions. In other words, the study of the complex-valued functions reduces easily to the study of the pairs of real-valued functions.